What exactly is Sea Monkeys Racing Fuel, and how does it work? In this series, we're taking a look at every single Sea Monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real Sea Monkeys. Of all the packets we're looking at in this series, Racing Fuel is perhaps the rarest of the lot, and it's likely you've never heard of it either. That's because unlike the others, the Racing Fuel pouch was never made available for individual sale. Instead, it was only ever included as part of some of the Sea Monkey racetrack sets. I got this one from my Explorer Toy Sea Monkey Speedway, which I reviewed on the channel a little while ago. The back of this packet says, Sea Monkey Racing Fuel. When mixed with one quart of water, this powder provides an ideal fluid for all Sea Monkey races, games, and sports. The color of the fuel can on the front is the color of the fuel. Harmless to sea monkeys in the plastic playing tracks, it helps them to swim faster than the ordinary water. May be reused many times until no longer clean. Made and printed 1975. So, the racing fuel packets came in a few different colours. My one here has a Joe Orlando illustration of a green fuel can on the front, which means it should produce green liquid. Though Todd was kind enough to share a photo with me from his collection, which shows that it was also produced in orange, blue and purple. As you can see, my pouch isn't in great condition. It appears to have accumulated a lot of moisture over the years, but hopefully it still works okay. Something interesting about this pouch is that Exploratory actually commissioned Todd in the late 1990s to redesign and replace the picture of the fuel can on the front. For whatever reason, Todd's design, which showed a racing sea monkey having his go-kart refueled, unfortunately never ended up being used, other than in a small print on the instruction sheet that came with Exploratory's Sea Monkey racetrack. It's a damn shame this was never printed, because it looks so good. Okay, I think it's time we open this up and test it out. As I suspected, some moisture has definitely got into this packet, but the salt crystals are still somewhat intact. They have a strong greeny blue colour too, which is pretty much what I was expecting. There's no smell to this packet, other than the mustiness that comes with its advanced age. Under the microscope reveals something a little unexpected. Among those blue salts are some other coloured particles. My best guess is that this is small pieces of food, kind of similar to what's found in packet number one. Perhaps to give your sea monkey some extra energy when racing. I'm going to follow the instructions and mix it up with a quart of water, which is the equivalent of about one litre. I've just realised that the salinity of this mixture will be pretty low once we pour the racing fuel salts in, which isn't ideal for sea monkeys long term, but they'd be fine swimming in it for a few hours. Maybe that's how it makes them swim faster. There's definitely a lot of dye in here, because it's done a great job of turning this water green. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the speedway so we can see how it would look for an actual sea monkey race. To be honest, the colour doesn't look all that obvious once it's in the actual speedway. Maybe the yellow plastic is disguising it a bit. I imagine it would look more obvious in some of the older racetrack kits, which were made of a white plastic instead. It probably would have been better if I'd only mixed the racing fuel with 500 ml of water. That way the green colour would be more concentrated, and the salinity would be higher for the sea monkeys too. Overall, while this packet may not be entirely necessary, it's a nice touch of extra fun for these racetrack kits.